Hello everyone, in this video here I'll be doing a demonstration on how to test the cam position sensor on your Volvo 5 cylinder. Now this particular model here I have is a 1996 850 turbo. Now first what we want to start by doing is actually locating the plug for the cam position sensor itself. Now as you can see I have it poking up here a little bit. Now I'm fairly limited with space here so I'm trying to do the best here to show you. Uh, where exactly it is and how to get to it. Now basically where the cam position sensor is located, your distributor is right here. Now it's just located right under there, the plug. Now if you want to, you can actually follow the wires back from the cam position sensor right here and it goes all the way back and it just hooks up to a metal bracket in there. Now when I was able to take the plug out, I was able just to slide my hand through the front side here and there is just a little steel clip you can see on the front there just to squish it. And then pull straight back and it pops right off. Now as for figuring out which of the prongs, you'll have uh, three wires which go to this. Now you have a pin 1, pin 2, and pin 3. Now they're labeled right on the rubber on the outside. Now in this particular case here, I have it actually on the back side. Uh, maybe depending which way you have the wire twisted, it might be on the other side here. So they're actually just raised lettering. They're very small. They can be harder to see. So that's just something to keep an eye out for now. Now you can also go by of the coloring of the wire also if you do have a wiring diagram. Now first we want to start by doing here is you want to check what your battery voltage is. Now my battery voltage is roughly about, um, it's 12.8. 12, 12 so now we know what that voltage is. Now uh, having the sensor unplugged and the vehicle in the uh, start position in position two. Now this is powering up the computer and all that. So then you want to make sure that you're getting the correct voltage to the actual plug itself. So I have it stuck in uh, pin number three right here. And what I'll do is just having it on volts for my uh, multimeter here. I'm just going to hook it up to ground here. And you can see we're receiving uh, roughly about battery voltage. Now it may uh, be a little bit different variation between what the battery voltage is. I'm roughly about a one volt less. Now this could mean maybe the post where I'm sticking it on is dirty. Maybe the uh, the pins for the testers are a little dirty. It's hard to say. But what we want is almost a 12 volt reading out of this one here. Next what we're moving on to is the center pin itself. Now next I've moved on to pin number two. Now doing the exact same thing, we want to have the one tester in the pin there and hook the other one here up on our negative terminal. And you can see I'm reading 5.06 volts. Now it's roughly about five volts of what you should be reading on pin number two itself. Okay, next we'll be testing pin number one, seeing if there is a proper ground here. Now pin number one is for the ground connection itself. So what we want to do here is you want to change it to the ohms reading here, do your smallest reading and just do a simple test on it here. And you can see we are getting a connection there. Now, it may be just a little dirty connection. It also depends. Maybe the uh, testers on the multimeter itself are a little bit dirtier where I'm, uh, the contact is on the post here. It might be a little bit dirty. You can see there is a variation on here. Now, just keep in mind, this is actually a running car. So this is what it, the readings are currently. Okay, so zooming in a little more here. Hopefully this isn't too hard to see on the camera itself. Now, with this plug still uh, plugged into the cam sensor itself, we're going to do a uh, turning over test with the vehicle itself now. Now what you can do is I used uh, to check out this vehicle here is I used the needle and I slid it in between the rubber outside casing itself and the wire itself so it does touch where the uh, crimped uh, connectors are inside the plug itself instead of piercing the casing. Now you want to connect one, uh, one needle, just a sewing needle, uh, works perfectly, uh, to pin number one and another needle to pin number uh, two here. Now you want to ensure that there is a connection between the plug itself and the needle, so you just simply do a test between the needle and the plug uh, just on the inside edge here itself. Now once you have the connector all plugged in, using a, a multimeter on the uh, lowest voltage test setting on the multimeter itself, what you want to do is hold one uh, pin on the one side and another one on the other side. Then having the vehicle turn over, you want to see if there's actually a signal. We already know between uh, pin number two there is five volts, so we should be looking for about the same reading um, when the vehicle is turning over itself. Uh, because the way this cam sensor does work, it does actually give a signal when it's rotating around. Uh, it builds up, uh, just, I guess it's just an electrical field, and it will send a signal back which tells uh, when the vehicle to actually spark. Now if you're not having a reading there, then most likely your cam uh, sensor is no good, so it would need to be replaced. Now another test you can also do here is if you're not receiving proper voltages between uh, pin number two or three, uh, you want to check back to your computer. Maybe you have a low battery voltage also too. Now 
these wires do go directly to your computer itself. I have tested them before. Uh, you will need a wiring schematic to determine which pins are which. So this concludes the rest of my tutorial video. If you have any comments or questions, please don't hesitate to post them. Also, please subscribe to my channel for further tutorial videos, as well as rate this video. Thank you for watching.